Pena on the pitch have responded in kind. Chile get us underway in their white strips, playing right to left. Kenya in the green. Clemente Armstrong secures the ball. Both nations hunting a finish in the top four at the end of the standings come Sunday night here in Munich, and that's both on course for that at this stage. Kenya will know that they just have to win their quarter-final tomorrow, and that is confirmed. Chile, most likely, depending on some of the numbers tonight, will have to do the same. Sit. Thomas Salas, man who played for to lose in his younger days at scrum half, he gets it away. Strabuki, one of the Selkman players in this seven side, and now it's Federico Kennedy is released, he fires it back inside, the ball just bounces. Agonizingly out of Gonzalo Lara's way. Kennedy is a live wire on that left wing, the teenager. Just 19 years of age, the number 15 for Chile. They don't give away appearances in this Los Condores sides. You have to really earn them so often. Players make their name a little uh, later into their early 20s, but Kennedy given a run of things, given a starting jersey in this pool decider. I need you to be square, square, straight, and you do not push early. Patience. Square. Sit, steady, hold. Kenya scrum needs to be firm here. Chile eking closer to the line through their front three and now holding this up and dragging Kenya over. It's going to be put down by Samuel Asati. That's all he could do. Francisco Uros plays full back in 15s. And he's involved. In that one, the number nine. That fullback when Chile played England in the World Cup last summer. But uh, doing his duty as a front row forward here. And this field position is going to be very dangerous for Chile. Salas, though, is going backwards. Kenya have struck back and instantly they'll go away. They knock it on. Kennedy takes it. Errors on both sides of the ball at the moment. Advantage offside. Strabucci. Chile with the advantage. Aveli. Numbers here, but there are Kenyan numbers too. So they're boxed in on that right flank. Not forward. Offside number two times number six. Here Kevin Wakesa penalised for being offside. Number six. Offside. Chile setting up field position here. Now they've got numbers. They've worked this cutely so far. The hands are good. And Luca Aveli opens the door for Chile. Kenya caught. Right on a sixpence from Salas, and they'll get it back, Chile, with Armstrong. And Armstrong sets his sights on Vincent Onyala. Urosh with the transfer, and the speed on this from Kennedy, popping up in the centre of the field again. No one taking his legs, so he keeps powering. Aveli waiting for it to come back. Kenya, though. Pilfering the ball back. Holding, Holding on to the ball. Kenya. Call for the scrum here. Don't want to go quickly. They want to tie in these chunky forwards of Chile. A little bit higher and stable. Manténgalo arriba y estable. Sí. Dale. This is the mark. Kenya do have Patrick Odongo in their ranks. Who scored twice against Chile in the final in Dubai. Bind. He is stationed just behind this scrum to the right of it. Sit. Steady. All on his own. Stability. Asati does go. And he'll ignore the Odongo wing for now. 
Now we're back 10. Another 10 for Kenya. They'll go as quickly as they can. Lovely hands from Omondi. That's not so lovely. And John Okoff stamps his feet on the ground in frustration. And it's been a error strewn, tetchy first half. Chile so often come through matches like this where no one fires a shot for minutes on end and then they sneak themselves over. They've done that already in this first half. If that sticks, that is a try. Oko just couldn't drag it from above his head. Tony Amondi it is who's down, the co-captain with uh, the other captain in the side, Vincent Onyala. Concerned for his number seven. Guys, the same that goes for them goes for you. Keep it stable. Do not push until the ball is put in. Probably for the first time this weekend as well. Kenyan fans in the crowd aren't audible across all our microphones around the pitch. And waiting for the spark from their players this time. Hasn't come yet. Thomas Salas gets it to Strabucci. Here's Lara. Not a speedster, but he finds himself in those outside spaces. Does well. It's reworked. Aveli. Big pass out to Uros. Uros steps. Knows there's support coming. And the Kenyan Jackers can't get near the ball. Armstrong. Flexed onto the floor by Kenya, who have turned this over. They need to get it away, though. Ball is out. Chile can play it. And it goes out for a line out. Well, plenty of opportunities being offered up from Kenya and from Chile, but neither team able to take them. 30 seconds left of this first half. So far has been a match played like two teams that have already qualified for the quarterfinals. Come here, Kenya inside, inside. Asati. To the very back, well taken in the end. Okoff comes around, Asati, this is Omondi. And offside was called. Penalty back this way. Whatever Patrick Adongo tries, he is not seeing much of the ball at the moment. Asati might try and change that here. Switches with Amaitsa. Here's Onyala. Big Vincent Onyala bundling over Chileans. Then the pick and go. Here it is for Wakesa. He has support. It is Nigel Amaitsa. And Kenya finally get the score. Vincent Onyala knocking down doors in order to do it. And then the support was there. And after. The spark lid on the pitch, now in the stands. Kenyan fans have something to cheer. Has time finished? Number seven, HIA. Why? HIA, number seven. The doctor called you? Slanting to the right, so two points for difference at half time for this team in Dubai, then in Montevideo, and now in Munich. They know that the support back home is massive and they all want the same outcome. Chile looking for that as well. And it's two point advantage in this final pool C match. Well done. Quarter finals coming up tomorrow. Salas pings this away. Lara does likewise. And then Ernesto Chimino uses his frame to strip. Try and confuse the Kenyan defenders. They get it back. This is a dongo. First touch of the ball in the match for the number 11. Looped over, potential intercept from Uros. Just knocks it on. He read that play a long way off. It was not so well conceived, that one from Kenya. When they struggle to break down teams which give them a defensive press, they've looked to go wide in order to do it with looping passes out to Wakesa and Adongo, who've been lurking in those wide channels. But that time Chile refitted their defence and almost picked them off. Sit. Oh. 
Salas. Stravucci. Hitch and go from Lara. Now Federico Kennedy. Make sure there's the big frame of Lara behind him. Now play scrum half. Kenyan defence. Well organised for now. Hands on ground before. Hands on ground. Not supporting his body weight when he tried to pinch the ball. He had his hands on the ground, as you heard the referee say. You've got to support your own body weight. And if you've got hands on the ground, well, that's a sign that you're not supporting your own body weight through your legs. Work that bike length, OK? Adentro, Chile, adentro. Adentro. So here we have the Chile fans amongst the many Kenyan fans. They are here and Chile in the lead. Looking for number two as Lada heads into a thicket of Kenyan players. Loopy old pass. Stradabuchi has to tidy up. This will come out to Kennedy. He would have been in with his speed. Kenya will play quickly, will they? No. Not even Patrick Adongo wants to go that fast. It's a big miss, though, from Chile. Time off, subs. Pass was from Starbucci. Six. Winner of this does get a better draw against a, a team. Probably one of the third place finishers in the pools. And that's likely to be Portugal, Georgia or Tonga. So that does make your day easier. If you win this one enough, enough. at the end of play on the Saturday, Ock off. No hands now, no hands. Asati just goes downtown. Box kick from Fistic, 15s gets pulled out of the bag. Salas is the only man home. Great chase from Kenya, brilliant chase. Clemente Armstrong gets back to help. <laughs> Gorosh. Salas. Strabucci. Here's Lara, has picked up this position so many times, but Kenya have watched him well again. Number of tackles that the Shuja Pride are having to make is adding up here, and that may tell as the minutes tick away. It is possession dominance from Chile. Now, can they make this work? Not again. the long day in the legs or the fact that he had the sun in his eyes who knows but another mistake from Chile when a try was brimmy just to keep the ball against Kenya like this is so good but now then doing the uh, easy part and, or rather doing the difficult part and then making the easy part look like that it doesn't take Kenya long to score a try. Asati gets it back. Loopy pass does make its way to Brian Tanga. Ojwang is on in that 12 jersey. Tanga. Herman Humwa off the bench and looking to wreck Havard. A lot of experience on the World Series. In Herman Humwa's boots. Here he is again, the number eight. Play on, no holding, play on. All the space here. And Humwa's in behind, and he sees the white paint ahead. He drives forward into the 22. Knocking on, though. Lost forward in the ground. So Kenya's turn to fumble. There is no lack of effort out there. Lack of control at times, however. Gonzalo Lara struggling to find the energy to uh, get off this field. He's run himself into the ground in 12 minutes. Sit, steady. 
Salas had their problems at the scrum, Chile, and there's a, a difficult way to get that off. Diego Vanken is on, though, as is Garafulik. Now, these two might make a difference in the final two minutes. Kenya, though, with the counter. Brilliantly done. That was Oro who made the turnover. And Humwa, good hands. Onyala puts his head down, and Kenya hit the front for the first time. Vincent Onyala. It's me, you know. I'm the one that's done it. And if they were partying after the first try, then they're really giving it full gas now. Tanga makes it all seven. 12 7 to Kenya. And Chile running out of numbers here. Onyala didn't need to use his hulking frame to knock himself through this time. He had the speed. Salas takes the restart. Now Gareth Fulek just on, fresh legs, tackling back from Ojwan, also just off the bench for Kenya. Uros, Vanken, in that number 10 jersey, so often the game-breaker for Chile. That has a hint of the forward pass about it, it's not given. Kennedy will profit here, always looks for the offload, this number 15. Chimino was in support, Vanken, little step and go. Bumps off Asati. Now it's Kennedy, round the corner! And he takes flight to touchdown. And that levels things up with four seconds on the clock. Well, this is interesting now. It'll come down to the conversion. And if not, we'll be going into golden points. doesn't have the distance so 12 points all after 14 minutes of action thanks to Federico Kennedy's try and it was a good one this was Vanken the little bump off on Asati slip pass out there and that makes the try so 12 points all and uh, the referee calls them over for the toss to see this team will kick off a golden score. Of course, not be amongst the strongest teams we've seen on day one, at least. So a final effort from both in golden points. Kenya tap it back. And here's Humwa. And there's a chance here already. It's taken out of the air. And Kenya so swift from the restart. It's Ojwan. Who wins it? They timed it late to hit the front in this match, but they timed it to perfection. Kenya, in just a matter of seconds, secure the victory over Chile and go to the top of Pool C overnight. Their hunt to confirm themselves as one of the four teams to go to Madrid in two weeks' time is going to plan. They end day one, undefeated. 17 points to 12, they've beaten Chile. <laughs> they picked it out of the air so well, Chris Vance, Ojwan. And from that position, Chile were all at sea. <laughs> Celebrations for Kenya tonight. But they know that the business end is all about tomorrow. We'll see them 